All right, so I am about to head on a, a boat. I'm waiting for my friend uh, to get here. And we're gonna go, I tried to go last year, but we couldn't, uh, we had trouble getting to where we're trying to go. It's called the Spit, it's in Situate, and it's basically like, like a sandbar. I'll have my friend Andy explain it to you guys. I think it's like a sandbar, like you, dri you drive out to it and it only appears in the middle of the day and then it goes away. I don't know, I'm kind of confused by it, but that's where we're gonna head. Uh, I'm, waiting, I'm gonna hop on this boat and I guess we drive and we pull up and we land on the Spit, and it's like a beach in the middle of the ocean, I think. I don't know, I'm gonna have him explain it to you guys. I guess the the sandbar, right? It's like a the, the spit sand sandbar. You cruise on out here. Our party pleasure. Here we go. We got our American flag going. We're gonna pull right up here. Sweet. Nice quick short ride. Nice. The water looks nice. followers. Had, happy to have Yonti out here with us. We are in Situate, Massachusetts on a place called The Spit Sandbar. You can look that up in the dictionary. It's basically a, a big long bar of sand and it's called The Spit. But we call it The Spit because it's the place to be here in Situate, Massachusetts. That is Situate over that way. Over to your right is another town called Marshfield. We're on the North River here in Massachusetts, South Shore, and the river itself is the town line. And right now, so we're in Situate and we're having a good time. And you went just having a good time. <laughs> and uh, going back 100 years, there's history about this place is that it was just basically a river. And the river went down that way and down to the ocean. But in 1898, there was a Vincent hurricane that ripped open the sandbar that was between these two cliffs. It was actually all beach and basically pushed it all over here. So now this bit here is what used to be the beach that connected with those two cliffs. So that's why we get this beautiful pleasure spot. Thank you, Mother Nature, for making the beach happen. <laughs> And moving on to products, <laughs> as a joke, I started Spit Kermit shirts in 2008 as a gag, and people were crazy for them, so here I am, seven, eight years later, still selling them, whether I like to or not. So this is the Spit, this is Situate, Massachusetts, and uh, we are the Spit Dudes, spitdudes.com, and uh, again, we're happy to have you into here and all those friends checking it out. Pull your boat up right here, and then this is all just like a sandbar, and this will get washed up when the tide uh, comes up, but for right now, it's low tide, so pull your boat up right here, and uh, this is my first time in the spit. It's it's not. It's funny. This is bit. This is like right by where I live. I just I've never owned a boat, and my friend uh, has a boat, so uh, finally got out here. It's uh, it's nice. It's nice to have a nice flat beach. A lot of people were talking about my other beach was all rocks. You couldn't do anything there. Whereas this, you're playing a little bocce ball. You can play spike ball, uh, cornhole, anything you need. So yeah, this will get all get washed up uh, once the tide uh, comes up. So it's like almost like a yeah, like a little sandbar. It's uh, it's really sweet. I like it. So the tide's coming up, as you can see, it's coming up all the way to right there. It's coming up on both sides, so just a little a little sliver. That's all that's left. So, what's up? <laughs> You're in it officially. <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, the tide's coming up. We got not much space left. What do we got? What, what, how much time do you think we got left? Hour. An hour? That's not bad, actually. Still got a good hour left. But, half an hour to an hour. Yeah, half an hour. The sun's still up, though, so 6, 6 p.m. Um, but come an hour or so, there'll be nothing left and just, uh, I guess, the little beach up there. Alright, I feel like I got cooked. 
forehead is like, does my face look red? My forehead feels really hot. I put a little suntan lotion on, but I feel like I should put more on. So I have a feeling I might have to put some aloe on my forehead. <laughs> I got cooked, but I'm starving now. So I think I'm gonna go grab a cheese pizza. Cut to a very nice close-up shot of a cheese pizza. So I got color to the point where it's like I go like this and I can feel like the burn. So I gotta, ah, ew, I hate aloe too because I feel it's like all like sticky and stuff. However, trying to sleep with a sunburn is virtually f***ing impossible. Um, so I've got to apply, you know when you like try to sleep in a sunburn, you're just like tossing and turning, you get hot and stuff. So um, it's not that bad. I feel like it looks way worse than the camera. Like in the camera, I look like a tomato. Uh, so yeah, this is, um, once this turns into a tan though, whoo, I'm gonna be killing it. Oh, pray for me. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hmm, 